Hello and welcome to the video. I've been planning for quite a while to make a series on the Arch Linux installation procedure, which is not just a tutorial when we like speed run through the installation process and get the system up and running as fast as we can, but one in which we try to dissect each command that we are using to install the system to understand it a little better. So in this episode of understanding the Arch Linux installation procedure, we are going to take a look at setting up the keyboard layout, which is, uh, well, part of the Linux console and we will use the load keys command. So that's uh, basically what we are going to do today. And so we, this is in very early on in the installation procedure. So if we are looking at the official installation guide, which is the only uh, official way of installing Arch Linux, of course, there are all these pre-installation steps listed. And one of the first one is setting up the keyboard layout because the keyboard layout is uh, the US layout in uh, default. And if you are used to another keyboard layout, you want to use that for the installation procedure. You don't want to guess which uh, key is which special character. So in another video, I previously talked about booting the live environment in a virtual machine in a QMU. And we also talked about verifying the boot mode, which is either the EFI mode or the BIOS mode. So we already discussed this part in the video I am going to link up here. And so we should take a look at setting up the keyboard layout too. So keyboard layout is uh, basically part of the operation of the Linux console. And for that we, are go we should take a look at these two Arch Wiki pages. One of them is called the Linux console and the other one is a uh, like Linux console slash keyboard configuration. And so if we are going here, we can see that the Linux console is internal to the Linux kernel. So basically the console, unlike most services that directly interact with the users, is implemented in the kernel. So this is uh, different, of course, than terminal, terminal emulator software such as Xterm or GNOME Terminal or URXVT, which is a user space uh, application. So this uh, console has always been part of the Linux kernel, but went through a lot of development and it is uh, quite compatible of everything. So this is also called, this console is called the TTY. And we have more than one virtual console in a system. You can switch between them using uh, certain key combinations. And in this way, you can have multiple users logged in at the same computer on different virtual consoles if you want. This is basically working on a FIM buffer console. So this is uh, good because it helps uh, in a way, like you can change the, uh, the, 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 the fonts, for example. And there is a kind of a, this uh, section about how to change the fonts. So this, the Linux console uses UTF-8 encoding by, by default, but because it uses standard VGA compatible frame buffer, so the console font is limited to <laughs> either 256 or 512 glyphs. So you have to uh, keep that in mind, but uh, so there are some workarounds to use any kind of uh, fonts here. So there is this KBD package that provides tools to change the virtual console font and the font mapping. So that will help you to use your language's special fonts if it's not covered by the default. And so the other uh, Arch Wiki page is this Linux console slash keyboard configuration, which uh, talks about checking the keyboard settings and using key maps. And you can use the local CTL status to view the current configurations and you can use local CTL list key maps to list all the available 
uh, configurations or uh, what are the key maps rather oh, that we can set up. We can use grab to grab from this. So um, going back to my slideshow here. So what we have to consider is that the United States keyboard layout is the default, but on your on the live system and uh, in, in the basically if you install the system this is going to be the default first but you can specify another default in etc slash vconsole.conf so if you uh, configure the keyboard layout there then when you boot the system that layout will be loaded this is of course not available on the live system it is just set to the united states layout so all the keyboard layouts are stored in uh, this directory usr share kbd keymaps and are just basically zipped uh, text files so the let's uh, take a look at this directory on my uh, system so it is the same for the live medium and uh, uninstalled system both has the key maps at the same place so for example here let's go to this i386 directory and so in the hungarian uh, keyboard we use the QWERTZ uh, kind of configuration so it's going to be in this directory and there is the Hungarian one there is Croatian there is German here for example that uses this kind of layout and we can go and check what's in this uh, zipped uh, file there and so there is one Hungarian uh, layout is like hu.map so there is a .map file inside this .map.gz file and if we take a look what's inside that file we can see that it is a text file basically starts with some comments it tells us what character set it uses and uh, well it's basically a text file that for each key code will tell you what character should that be so this is the number four and when pressing the shift it's going to be an exclamation mark and this is the character that will be uh, outputted when we use the car this uh, key with combination of the uh, right alt or the alt gr uh, key so here we can see like Q W E R T Z U. So this is where it's a quartz uh, style layout, and there we can see like uh, the letter D with a stroke, capital letter D with a stroke, bracket left, bracket right on the F and the G when pressing the LGR so and and so forth. So why it is interesting to know how it works? Well. In case of the live medium, you don't really have a chance. You have to use one of these uh, uh, maps, one of these key maps that is uh, offered to you. But uh, so in case of your own system, you can just use a template like this and uh, you can make your own keyboard layout because it is just a text file. So you just have to know what is exactly the... Uh, the format for these text files and uh, you can make your own whatever weird <laughs> uh, keyboard layout so only you can use your computer <laughs> for example well of course maybe the keyboard layout that you got uh, used to is not in this list so it's not available by default so you want to make one for yourself that is a possible Okay, so it's good to know that even the keyboard layouts are stored in text files in Linux and just zipped together. So how we uh, find which layout we like? So we saw that in this uh, key maps folder there are well many many uh, sub directories and well where will you find whatever you're looking for? Well, you can use uh, the local CTL list key maps to list all the key maps available and uh, if you remember uh, or if you well if you check the installation guide they will offer you another 
option this uh, command just list the files which end with dot map dot gz and in this uh, key maps directory and this will work on the live medium because live medium uses the z shell by default but if you use bash uh, by default on your own computer then this won't work on your installed system so we can use the uh, system C or the system we provided this local ctl command local local ctl list dash key maps and then you can uh, scroll through it and you can try to find whatever you're looking for but you can just use a local ctl list key maps and uh, pipe it to grep dash i and let's say hu for hungarian or fr for french or de for german and so on and uh, so forth so you can use this whatever whenever and of course you can uh, use ls to list uh, the files themselves so if i go to my arch is a, a, a the live environment which i booted here in qmu then i can use the same thing local cdl um, and uh, list dash key maps and uh, grab dash i hu then there are the hungarian ones there are the french ones and then i can use load keys load key hu no load keys <laughs> yeah so it loaded because z as uh, the z shell knew that i want to say load keys <laughs> It did know and it corrected me so now i have all these hungarian characters except the ones that are not covered by the uh <laughs> the the fonts i am using here uh, but we're going to look at them a little later so we checked out the key map files already so we don't have to do that again but we might need to change the font uh, because there are some special characters in our language that are on our keyboard and so we can use this uh, show console font to show all the uh, console fonts that are available on our system so show console font and then you can see these are the characters that are enabled in this uh, console font and we can find the other ones in this directory of USR share KBD console fonts, which is the same uh, KBD directory that we had our uh, the key maps in. So here there is all these uh, psfu.gz files basically, which are uh, for the console. So if we go back to the QMU, like let's uh, go back to our virtual machine, let's try to list USR slash share slash KBD slash console fonts slash asterisk and you can see all these files here. Well, we want only the ones that end with PSFU dot g and z and there are a lot of them so well i know that for hungarian one we will need one that is uh, like a latin 2 so let's just specify let let 2 here and so we can see like with these are the latin 2 uh console fonts that we can use in the arch iso iso in the live environment and we can use the set font 
command to change to that in our environment, in, in our system. So let's uh, type in set font and it's going to be let 2 dash 16. Let's make it 16. And now if I go for the show console font, then it will show all these uh, different characters and now I can press Ö uh and U uh also and it will show the real letters and not just the white squares. So this is how we set up the keyboard layout and the console and the font on our console in Arch Linux and basically this is same in most like the Linux distributions especially if you have a systemd then all these commands should work so even if you are not using Arch but you are making a system with only uh, the console or you want to use the console more often not just the graphical environment then these are things you can use to change the keyboard layout and the font for yourself so this was for it this was it for the video hope you enjoyed this description of changing keyboard layouts and fonts in the console and if you have uh, some additional uh, knowledge about this that you want to share then share it in the comments if you have questions of course you can ask it in the comments too and i will try to answer them to the best of my knowledge subscribe for more content because we are going to check every step in the Arch Linux installation procedure and try to understand what we are doing when we are installing the system. So follow uh, this channel and give this video a like if you enjoy the content. See you next time. Bye bye.